Welcome. This is a gentle flow designed to create space, warm up your body, open it. Great to do early in the morning or any time of day, whenever your practice allows. So grab props that you like to have, blocks, straps, nothing is required, but if you like to have those as support for your practice, go ahead and grab them. We're gonna start in child's pose. Legs can be together, or you can take the knees wide with the big toes touching, whatever supports your body the best. If you can't bring your forehead to the floor, I want you to slide something underneath your head so you can have that support and you can feel the surrender. From here, walking the arms forward. You can sway it out side to side and then let those hips get really heavy. Sit bones towards the heels. And then find your stillness. Taking a few moments of stillness to settle into the space that we are about to create, settling into our practice. And welcoming it. No matter what our body feels like, no matter what the practice has in store for us, welcoming the unknown. Let's take one more breath here. to a tabletop, stacking your shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees. We'll move through a series of cat cows. One thing that you want to keep in mind is keeping the core engaged. So it's not just dumping the belly out and then sucking it in. It's keeping that engagement through. So we lower the navel, lifting the tailbone. Heart moves through the arms. As we exhale, we're going to push the floor away. Move at your own pace. If it feels good for you to pause at any place, go ahead and pause. Take that time. Let's take one more of each. Come to a neutral spine. We're going to walk the hands forward, coming onto your elbows. Interlace the fingers. You can make fists. And then we're going to bring the thumbs between the shoulder blades. So keep the hips over the, uh, the knees. And we're walking the arms out, coming into a modified puppy pose, working on drawing the chest towards the floor. Feet can be flat or you can have the toes tucked. Three, two, on one, releasing the hands. Stay on your elbows, come onto your belly. Palms face down, sphinx pose, draw the heart through. Pressing the tops of the feet into the floor, even the shins are drawing towards the mat. And we're lengthening our spine. Three, two, and one. Lower the chest, plant the hands, tuck in the toes, lift yourself up, downward facing dog. Take a deep bend to your right knee. Working on the left hamstring, we're gonna feel your kneecap and your quadricep lift as we lengthen the hamstring, drawing the heel down and back. Resist the floor with those hands, push the mat away, shoulders on the back, triceps are wrapping forward, and the ears are between the arms. Switch legs, deep bend to your left, right leg goes straight. Keep resisting that mat. Really feel the connection of the shoulders into the socket. 
This is where you begin to build strength that you can eventually start to invert with handstands and so on. We want to make sure that we have that shoulder engagement. And then we'll pedal as it feels good for you side to side. One more each side. Straighten both legs. Look forward. We're going to walk our hands back to meet our feet. Soften your knees. Pull inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale into a forward fold. Begin to straighten those legs to the best of your ability. Feel the spiral of the inner thighs. Draw into the wall behind you, belly lifts, walking the ribs further down your, li your legs. Soften the knees again, inhale, lengthen, lifting your heart halfway, walk it out. Tabletop, knees drop, shoulders are over the wrists. This time we're walking the right arm forward, we're extending the left leg back, keep the kneecap and toes pointing down. So we want level hips, we don't want that left hip to jack up too high as we start to lift the right arm in the left leg. Keep the kneecap and toes pointing to the sky, or towards the mat here. Breathe, shoulders on the back. Find that one point to gaze, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, tap the elbow knee together. Inhales left. Exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale left. Exhale, elbow and knee. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it in. Activate your belly. Feel your, your tummy start to turn on. Three, two, and one. Extend. Reach the right hand back for your left foot. Square the chest, kneecap is pointing towards the mat. Resist the hand and the foot into one another. Breathe here, toes to the ceiling. Three, two, and one. With control, extend. Right hand down, left knee down. Second side, slide your right leg back. Extend the left arm forward. So feel the engagement. Get that engagement before you worry about lifting the arm and the leg up. Shoulders on the back, kneecap and toes are pointing down. Feel an engagement in the hip socket. Three, breathing here. Deep breath in. Exhale, elbow and knee, pushing the mat away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, find one, draw it in, turn your belly on, three, two, and one, extend, left hand, right foot, extend, toes to the sky, square the ch chest towards the front of the mat, don't let that right hip jack up too much. Breathe here. With control, release. Left hand down, right knee down. Coming into your puppy pose again. So you feel free to come onto the elbows and take your modified. If it's there for you, you're gonna work on walking the arms out and we're dropping the chin, chest, and throat towards the floor. Bottom stays over the back knees. Sphinx pose. Come on through. Come on to your belly. Draw the chest through the arms, pressing the tops of the feet. The shins down. 
Length through the whole spine. Now compressing through your lower back. Plant the hands, draw the hips back, downward facing dog. We'll go straight for stillness now. We got all the wiggles out earlier. Pull the shoulders onto the back, wrap those armpits in, lift your belly, feel the hamstrings lengthen as you're lifting your quadriceps and your knees. Lots of energy between the hands and between the feet. Imagine you could crinkle the mat. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and an audible exhale through your mouth. Look forward, this time we're gonna bring our feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthening, shoulders stay on the back, neck is long, try not to jet the chin forward, and then into your forward fold. Spiral those inner thighs, pressing through all four corners of the feet. See if you can begin to take the weight forward just a little bit more. We want to stack the hips, knees, and ankles all on top of one another. Root to rise. Come on up. Arms sweep up. Hands come to heart center. Samasthi Tihi. All right. We will inhale. Deep breath. Exhale. Into a forward fold. Lifting the heart halfway. Step it back, plank pose. Drop the knees, drop the chest, drop the chin, and then push yourself through cobra pose. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Right leg goes high, keep pushing the mat away. Bend your knees, stack your hips, take a yawn here, nice yawn. Open up your right knee as high as you can. Keep the left side lifting, no collapsing. Look forward, right foot steps to meet the hands. Bring the back heel in. Warrior number one. From here, straighten your front leg, pyramid pose. If you'd like to support your hands with blocks, go ahead. Use your blocks, right hip is pulling to the center line of your mat, and your back leg is strong, so feel the inner thigh lift as you're pressing through the pinky edge of your foot. Three, two, and one. Soften your front leg. We're gonna to turn to face the long edge of the mat. Inhale's length. Exhale into a wide leg forward fold. Not a long hold here. Soften your right knee, bring your hands to your right foot. Over to the second side. Bring your hands to your left foot. From here, we're gonna pivot. We're gonna turn to the back of the mat. So we're on the ball of our right foot. Left knee is bent. Sweep those arms high, crescent lunge. Start with a bent right knee. We'll inhale, straightening both legs. Exhale. Bend and soften. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend and soften. One more. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend and soften. We'll hold here. Three, two, and one. Start to straighten both legs. We're going to turn back to face the long edge of our mat into your forward fold. Arms sweep out to the side. Hands come to the mat. Three, two, and one. Inhale's length. Turn back to face the front. Slide your back foot in. Straightening your right leg. Inhale's length. Exhale back into your pyramid pose. Three, two, and one. Soften your right leg. Step your left up to the front of the mat. Inhale's length. Exhale, forward fold. Spiral those inner thighs. Press the mat away with those feet. Inhale, rise to stand. 
Hands come together, heart center, samastitihi. We'll go for the second side. Inhale, length. Exhale, into your forward fold. Finding your lift halfway. Exhale, plank pose, step it back. We're going gentle, we're going dropping the knees, dropping the chest, dropping the chin, and then we're sliding through for our cobra. Shoulders on the back, long spine. Pushing yourself back, downward facing dog. So I'm just going to turn so you don't have to see my bottom. <laughs> From here, left leg goes high. Bend the knees, stacking the hips. Keep your right shoulder lifting. Lift that left leg as high as you can. Spread those toes. Reach them towards the long edge of your mat. Three, two, and one. Straighten your left leg. Look forward. Stepping it up, warrior. Number one, back heel spins down. Keeping those arms up high. Deep breath. Straighten your front leg. Feel free to bring your back foot in just a touch. From here, flat back, hinge from your hips. Pyramid pose. Hands to the floor. You want to have equal pressure through both feet. So if you're feeling your right heel lifting off the mat, I want you to lift your hands onto blocks until you can have that support of the back foot down. Three, two, and one. Soften your front leg. We're going to turn to face the long edge of the mat, setting up for that wide leg forward fold. Inhales left, exhale into your fold, knowing that we're not going to be here long. Walk the hands to your left foot, soften your left knee. Moving through center over to the right foot, right knee bends. From here, we're turning to the back of the mat. So we pivot onto the ball of our left foot and our right leg is now forward. Coming into our crescent lunge, hips are square towards the front of the mat or the back of the mat, wherever you're facing. <laughs> Inhale, start to straighten both legs. Exhale, soften. Shoulders stay on the back. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, hold here. Work on straightening that back leg. Thigh is strong. Knee is over the ankle of your front leg. Three, two, and one. Opening up to the wide leg, forward fold, hinging from the hips. This time, grab your big toes, index and middle fingers, wrap around those big toes, elbows out to the side. Reaching the crown of the head towards the floor, keeping those inner thighs lifting as you press through the pinky edge of your foot. Three, two, lengthen your neck a little bit more, crown the head towards the floor, and one, release. Look to the front of your mat. Left foot is forward, slide your back foot in. Inhales left, exhale back into your pyramid pose. Left hip tracks to the center line of your mat. Walk your ribs down your front thigh. Three, two, and one. From here, planting your hands, step it back, plank pose. Drop the knees, drop the chin and chest. Slide through cobra pose. This time, hover the hands, pressing the tops of the feet into the floor. You're using your back, your core, your, your bottom's gonna be engaged, but it's not a death grip here. So use the back, use the core strength to lift. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, shins are trying to reach the mat. Three, two, and one. Slide on back, downward facing dog.
Taking your right leg high to the sky. Bend your knees, stack your hips, keep that left shoulder lifting. Look forward, right foot steps to meet the, the hands. Back heel comes down, Vera number one. Arms come up. Work on squaring the hips to the best of your ability. We're going for humble warrior. For me, I always use a strap. My shoulders are tight, so feel free to grab a strap. And also heel toe your right foot out to the side if that's what your body needs. Interlace the hands behind your back. Feel the shoulder blades draw together. From here, we're gonna hinge. And we're reaching the crown of the head towards the floor. Again, right hip tracks to the center line of the mat. Left inner thigh is strong, back leg is strong, pressing through that pinky edge of the foot. Reach those knuckles up and over, try not to lock the elbows. Keep a softness through the arms. Three, two, and one. Keep your bind, straighten your front leg, turn to face the long edge of your mat, you're lifting up halfway. Exhale into your forward fold. Shoulder blades together. Soften the elbows. Three, two, and one. Lift up halfway. Release the bind. If you have a strap, just leave it to the long edge of your mat. This time, arms come forward. Soften your right knee. And bring the weight over to the right leg. Shoulders on the back and then over to the left. Breathe here. Open up the arms to the side, pivoting onto the ball of your right foot. Left leg is forward, sweep those arms nice and high. And airplanes, shoulder blades together. Lead with the sternum, weight goes into your left leg, right leg goes high. Three, two, and one, press into your left leg, sweeping that right knee up towards your chest, hands come to prayer, crossing the ankle, standing figure four. Breathe here, lift the heart, engage the core, pressing through all four corners of your left foot, you've got this. Sit a little lower to intensify, make sure that right foot is flexed, five, four, Three, two, and one. Press into that left leg, right knee comes up. And then airplane again, arms go back. This time the airplane hits turbulence. Soften your left leg, open up your chest to the right. Open it up, warrior number two. Straighten that front leg, turn to face the long edge of the mat. Interlace the hands behind the back or use your strap, hinging from the hips, flat back. And then knuckles go to the sky. Crown of the head reaches towards the mat. Inner thighs are lifting. Three, two, and one. Come up halfway. Release your bind. Turn back to face the long, uh, the front of your mat. Right leg is forward now. The left knee comes to the mat. Inhale, lift up the arms. As you exhale, right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Twist here. Three, two, and one. Keep the arms open. We're just left hand down to the mat, right arm to the sky. Rotate and twist more, stack the shoulders. Three, two, one. Right hand towards your left foot. If it's there for you, make it a left forearm comes to the mat. This isn't a pose, this is a stretch, so don't be so attached to going so deep, right? It's not a pose. You might rock to the pinky edge of your right foot. Three, Two, without slingshotting, release. Hands come to the inside of the right foot, lizard pose. Hands to the floor, you can lower onto forearms, you can use a block here. 
Keep both hips level. He might tuck the back toes, lifting the back thigh. Find a point to gaze somewhere forward of your mat. Lower your left knee if you lifted it. Come onto your hands if you came onto your forearms. Slide the right leg back. Drop the knees, drop the chest, drop the chin, slide through cobra. Lower your chest. Reach your right hand towards your right foot or ankle, left hand towards your left foot or ankle. Upward facing bow, inhales length. Lifting up, lift the chest and the legs evenly. Toes to the sky, three, two, and one. Lower on down. Sliding through child's pose if you'd like, on your way to downward facing dog. So we'll turn again. Meeting in downward facing dog. The left leg goes high. Bend your knees, stack your hips, keep the right side lifting. Set the left foot forward, warrior number one. Sweep those arms high, square the hips. Coming into our humble warrior, so set your body up. Bring the left foot out if you need that extra space. Use a strap if you like to. Interlace the hands. Keep those elbows soft. From here, we're hinging from the hips. We're tracking the left hip into the center line. Back leg is strong. Try not to collapse into your back leg. Make it active. Share the weight of the pose with the whole body. Reaching the crown of the head towards the floor. From here, come up halfway. Straighten your front leg, returning to face the long edge of the mat. We're keeping our bind. We're gonna find that length. We're going for our wide leg forward fold with the bind. One more breath. Lifting up halfway, release the bind. Walk your hands over to your left foot, soften your left knee. This time, arms come out to the side. Make sure your right leg is strong, move through center, right knee bends, the left leg goes towards straight. And then we're gonna turn to the back of our mat, right leg is forward, Airplane. Shoulder blades together. Hips are square. Three, two, one. Left knee comes into the chest. Hands to prayer. Cross the ankle over the right leg. Standing figure four. To intensify, we start to sit low. Grab a wall if you need to. Keep reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Imagine some of the head your ears and they're pulling you up. A few more breaths. Push into your right foot, left knee into the chest. Airplane again. This time we're rotating our chest towards the left. We're opening up our body. We're gonna land it in our warrior number two. Straighten that front leg. Turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat. Interlacing the hands behind your back one more time. Lift those inner thighs, hinging from your hips.
lifting up halfway, release your mind, we're turning to face the front of our mat, so left leg comes forward, right knee comes down, we'll inhale, open up the arms, rotate and twist, so the arms are spread nice and wide, hips are square, and then right hand comes down, left arm goes high, rotating and twisting. Stack the shoulders, open up your heart. Let's go for the bind, left hand reaches back for that right foot. You can lower onto your forearm if that's available. Release with control. Coming into your lizard. Hands to the inside of your left foot. Feel free to lower onto blocks, forearms, or stay with your hands right on the mat. You can tuck that back toe if it's there for you. Lifting your knees. Shoulders on the back. I don't want you to round and look inward. Look forward. Looking for a natural neckline, lengthening your spine the whole way through. If you lifted your back knee, bring it down. Come onto your hands if you came onto your forearms. Slide your left leg back. So we're dropping the chest and the chin. We're sliding through to our cobra. Lowering the chest down, upward facing bow, this time reach for the left foot, reach for the right. If the knees went wide, bring them back in hip distance, lift everything evenly. Toes to the sky, breathe your shoulder blades together. Lift a little higher. Nice job, release. Sliding through to your child's pose on your way to downward facing dog. Look forward, come to a seat. You can jump, you can sit down, right knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Tall spine. We're gonna start with uh, keeping the left heel on the mat and we're gonna lift the right leg. So we wanna keep the knees in line. You can support yourself with your grabbing your thighs. You can bring the hands to the mat or you can have the arms forward. Then we're going to switch, right heel down, left heel lifts, and switch. Heart forward, engage the core, and switch, and switch. This time left heel up, right heel up. Breathe here. This is too much, you can keep alternating. We have 10, chest forward, sit up tall, nine, Eight, seven, smile, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down. <sighs> Take a moment, bend your knees, let your legs rock side to side. Recline pigeon, walk the feet in hip distance. Take your right leg high, cross the ankle above your left knee. Make sure your foot is flexed. 
This might be plenty. Feel free to stay here. You can take your right hand to your thigh and you're going to work on bringing your knee in line with your ankle. If you have more space, lift the left foot up and the hands come behind that left thigh. If you still have space to go, you're going to come into a baby cradle. Right foot comes into the elbow crease of the left arm. You're extending your left leg to the floor. and slowly. And we'll set up for the second set. Don't be attached to the idea that you're going to be in the same place side to side. We have imbalances in our bodies. If you're tighter on one side, just give it a little bit more love, a little bit more compassion, and a little bit more time. So finding the opening that is best for your body at this moment. Doesn't matter where you were the last practice or where you'll be next week. It is exactly where you are right now that counts. Releasing the pose with control. Take the feet wide, let the knees sway side to side. the chest. Wrap your hands around your shins. Pull the thighs in towards your belly. Lift your nose towards your knees. Lower the head back to the mat, keeping the right knee into your chest. Slide your left leg out. If that's too intense, feel free to keep your left knee bent with the foot on the floor. Draw the right thigh into your chest and we're working that knee towards the elbow. Feel the compression of the, the thigh pushing into the belly. This is a great release for the internal organs. It will get everything going. Slide the left knee back in. Lift the nose towards the knees, both sides in towards the chest. Lower the head back to the mat. Extend the right leg, keeping the left knee into your chest. Feel free to keep your knee bent or you're extending that right leg, whatever feels better for your body. Right leg slides back in. Last time, knee to nose, pull it in. Three, two, 
and one. Let everything go. Let your feet fall open. Let your arms come out to the side. Stay as long as your schedule will allow. This is where I will leave you. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Namaste.